This is Jason. I'm Jaden. I'm Nicole. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel, and we thank you guys very, very much for joining us. It is what, guys? Preparation day. Yay! And tomorrow's a Shabbat? Yay! All right. Yes, so we have the two favorite parts of the week are right here, the day before the Shabbat and the day of the Shabbat coming up. And we thank you guys very, very much for hanging out with us. We are the family who believes what, Eli? That the laws, statutes, and commands of our Creator are still around to this day, and that we still keep them. Why? Because his, they have never been abolished or once in the Bible. He has always told us to keep His commandments. Yeah, and Jade, who is our Messiah? Who is salvation? Who brings us salvation? He is the Son of the Most High. His name is Yehoshua. A lot of people know him as Jesus. They have heard their lives as Jesus Christ, but that is not His name because there was no J's in Hebrew. And he was a Hebrew man, and these are Greek words. So his parents were of Hebrew lineage. They would have never named him a Greek name. They would have named him something Hebrew language they spoke. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so how are you guys doing? Good. Okay, um, so today is... Dun, 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 dun. It is month 10 on our Creator's calendar. It is the... Um, it is it's the sixth day. It's the 27th day on our Creator's calendar. That means it is the 20th day on the Gregorian Babylonian, January and that is tomorrow being a Shabbat. Now, before we go too far into this, um, a lot of you guys don't follow the other work that we are doing and the other things that we're trying to do. You guys know that we do not ask for donations in this house. That's one thing we don't do. There's no place to donate to this family. Actually, there is on the website. You can go and click donate, and it will explain to you guys how you can go find people that need love and hugs, and you can go give them hugs and give them loves, and you can change their lives forever. But there is no way to monetarily donate to Boss Clan because we are not Levitical priests. We are not, um, we're just a family in the middle of the jungle that is reading scriptures to you guys and various things of that nature. And so when we take on extracurricular projects, things of that nature, sometimes we run into those people that absolutely need help. And yesterday, the Hallelujah Scriptures, sorry for Leo's barking on that, the Hallelujah Scriptures just took two families, a family with five people and a family of three people that were working at an Arkansas location and they were doing this for virtually free. These families, these two families have been starved off for months and are not getting the supplies they need. One of the families has a disabled um, child, a baby that needs um, goat's milk, that needs um, special care and special things. And um, Deborah Weiss of the Hallelujah Scriptures went and evicted them yesterday they have an eviction notice they are to be out of there very very soon and the only option that these people will have one of them will be living in a tent down by a river and the other family um is in a in a little tiny van and sleeping there and it's just these are the kind of things that, that break hearts these are the things that our creator would never ever allow these families went and spent their entire existence they spent sometimes 18 hours a day with all of the people shipping bibles constantly free labor the the holy scriptures had free labor for all of these months and they do this on the backs of these people over and over and over and over and right now this family needs help they they need help they are going to be um out in the streets very very soon and they they don't have a place to go this was a a a thing that they did for our creator and it has put them in even further issues than where they were prior to this. And this is the heart, mind, and soul of the Hallelujah Scriptures. And so I will leave the GoFundMe link at the top of this video as well. And um, thank you to everybody who's helped out. Everybody that is that has helped out so far. We love you guys very, very, very much. And we thank you guys for helping this family out and for loving this family and for these families. And they are, they are very nice families. These are families I just barely met. Um, and I got to understand exactly how of this how this Arkansas location worked and it is as bad as I thought it was going to be and there will be a tremendous amount more coming out this is there, this company is being fully exposed this is a very evil company the Hallelujah Scriptures and so guys if you can help this family with anything at all we're just trying to get them so so they have some some help and that's that would be my request to you guys and and um, pray about it if you can please please help these folks all right, so let's continue on. Today we are in Yolkanen. Um, gentlemen, how are you guys doing? Good. My little furry-haired friends. Uh, that would be Eli and Jade. Wife's not too furry-haired, but sometimes. <laughs> All right, so John 3, here we go. Um, anyone have anything else before we run this? 
Um, no, I don't think so. Your guys are very uninteresting. We're supposed I will to... have the next month's calendar Ooh. up probably on first day because I know it's really close. And I'm actually going to try to do two months. Try to do two months. Okay, yes. so hopefully we'll have two months calendar on that. And um, I don't know if anyone actually uses it other than us. If anyone else does, it's coming back I know up the there. grand does because she asked about grandma it. Grandma does. Time, so. We love grandma. All right, let's continue on. Here we go. Um, John 3. And there was a man of the Pharisees, Nicodemian was his name, a ruler of the Yahudium. This one came to Yahushua by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from Elohim, for no one is able to do these signs. You do if Elohim is not with him. Nobody's able to do these signs you do if Elohim is not with him. Okay, I misread that a little bit. It sounded weird. Okay, why do you guys suppose this guy came to Messiah Yahushua by night? Probably because the Pharisees, you know, they had a grudge against him because of the temple thing, and they, they hate people outside of what they believe, and people go against them, they uh, destroy them, they destroy them. So this guy didn't want to be seen with Yahushua because he was one of the Jews. See, this would be like, um, you guys know what the Mormon missionaries are, right? right. They, they dress in their kind of penguin outfits, and they have this little elder badge on the side of them. Right. This would be like a whole bunch of Mormons that um, go and they start uh, hanging out with the Catholics, right? All of a sudden, they, don't, they just don't mix. If the Mormons saw that their Mormon people were over to Catholic Church, and the Catholic Church people go, hey, what's going on? Why do we have the Mormons here? That's exactly what it was. It would be in very unpopular for these people to go seek Messiah Yahushua if they were in this. And they, they said that this Nicodemus was a, a ruler of these people. And so he, he's definitely in the pharisaical side of things. Okay, three. Yahushua answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he is unable to see the reign of Elohim. Nicodemian, Nicodemian said to him, How is a man able to be born when he is old? Is he able to enter in his mother's womb a second time and be born? Yahushua answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Ruach, he is unable to enter into the reign of Elohim. Now, you know, I was debating with this guy last night, and um, he, says, he, he says the only book that's valid in the New Testament is John. And he's like, this whole thing about being born again, this, is, this, is, this isn't real or anything. And as we're reading this, it sounds about the same as all the other books that we've been reading on this, that what does it mean to be born again, Jaden? It means to become a new person, make you renew yourself, you're becoming someone who comes into the Torah, someone who comes into the faith. Yeah, the old man is dead, right? The old, the old person that we used to be is gone, should be no more. When you're right? born again, you become a new person, you become a different person, you become someone who is keeping and abiding by the laws. Yeah, and I mean, if you're a person that is a... a, a I don't know, a, a pornography freak and you can't stop the pornography freak and you are um, believe that you are born again or that the old man is dead until you get rid of these sins and this kind of lust and this kind of uh, wickedness. Just, I'm just taking pornography. There's, there's a million of them. Um, you're not going to be born again, right? That, that doesn't mean born again. Born again is a renewal. It is a, a new person, a new being, a new flesh, a new a, a new. Um, encounter with life, a new direction. Okay, six. Um, did I go six or seven? There's six. Um, 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 he is a, unable to enter into the reign of Elohim. That which has been born of flesh is flesh, and that which has been born of the Ruhak is spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you have, been, you have to be born from above. The Ruach breathes where it wants, and you hear the sound of it but do not know where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who has been born of the Ruach. Nicodemian answered and said to him, how is it possible for this to take place? Yahushua answered and said to him, are you the teacher of Yisrael and do not know this? Okay, so those are, those are kind of hard words, right? Um, what does he mean that he's a teacher of Yisrael and does not understand this, Jade? Uh, so basically, he was a person of the Jews, the Yahudim. He's a very high teacher, a high ruler, in high place. And he doesn't understand about what it means to be born again. He probably doesn't believe in that kind of thing. He probably thinks, once they've always said, right, you're in Judaism, you're a saved person forever. But he doesn't know that you have to be born again. Yeah, we got to get rid of that old, wicked self, our old, old self. 11. Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak what we know and witness what we have seen. And you do not receive our witness. If you do not believe when I spoke to you about earthly, how are you going to believe when I speak to you about that of the Shabbayim? 
and no one has gone up into the Shemaim except he who came down from the Shemaim, the bin of Adam. Okay, what do we make of this right here? It says no one has gone up into the Shemaim except he who came down from the Shemaim. We know the messengers right, but I don't think were in the Shemaim, like right? He's talking about people, not like messengers. Spirits. Messengers. What about uh, um, Elijah? And Enoch. Enoch. What, what do so we make of this? We, we don't know where they were actually taken to. They could have been That's taken true. to Sheol and been out of this in an easy way without actually dying. Yeah, and we, we it may not be next to the throne of our Elohim. I mean, it they, may, might, they might be in the waiting room right now, waiting to be judged, waiting for when the time comes, the people to be judged. Right. 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the bin of Adam has to be lifted up. So that this, so that whoever is believing in him should not perish, but possess everlasting Kai. For Elohim so loved the world that he gave his only brought forth bin, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but possess everlasting Kai. Now, this guy that I was arguing with yesterday, he kept telling me that Satan has two sons and that our creator had two sons. And um, I don't see that. I mean, we are all sons and daughters of of our, our creator, but as far as being the, he says right here, he gave his only brought forth son so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but possess everlasting life. Kai. Okay. Anyone have anything on that at all? Um, that's the most quoted verse thing of the whole Bible. It's that everyone quotes, everyone knows that verse. Yeah. Christian. John three sixteen. Absolutely. Okay. 17. For Elohim did not send his Ben into the world to judge the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Eli, what does that mean? Um, he, he will save us. Um, will so basically he, he said, basically he said he will not send him to condemn us, right? He's not here to send us away or judge us. He's here to give us a chance of salvation, a chance of repentance. Because with, uh, without Yehoshua, we basically had sacrifices and we were ba barely getting by with that. But now that we have Yehoshua, we have true forgiveness. Yeah, and so when... Um, what do, we, what do we make of this, though? I mean, we do know that our Messiah is coming to judge us. Right, but not that. The time he came here, no, the second time he returns, he is coming back to take his sheep and to cause war. Chaos, yeah. Okay, 18. He who believes in him is not judged, but he who does not believe is judged already because he has not believed in the name of the only brought forth Ben of Elohim. Okay, what do we make of this? So if you don't believe in Yehoshua... You're condemned from the start. You, if you say I don't believe, then you then there's no point in repentance for you because you can't have repentance. If you don't believe. What do you make of this whole line right here? He who believes in him is not judged. So basically, if you believe, so basically you would believe and you would understand that Yehoshua followed the Torah. You would follow the Torah and you have repentance of sins. You would have that kind of forgiveness. So basically, if you believe, you wouldn't be judged like the people who don't believe. Right. Yeah. So it'd be a different kind of judgment because we will be judged. It's very very clear that there for every idle word that we speak. We will be judged. We will have to um, account for every evil task or every evil thing that we did. It's going to be brought forth to light, but we will be judged differently, and we will be judged by different people um, than than what you know the evil people will be judged by. Okay, nineteen, and this is a judgment that the light has come into the world, and men love the darkness rather than the light, for their works were wicked. Um, this sounds like the world we live in, right? I mean, the there's no the light that is in this world is is um, it's getting darker. What is the light? What what do we have for the light of this world, Eli? The Torah. Yeah, and so and also in this one, it's talking about Messiah Yahushua, and, and he's our light, right? He's our he's the one that we need to grasp. He's the his ways are our ways, and I mean, he's just our he's our leader for this. Okay, twenty for everyone who is practicing evil hates the light. And does not come to the light, lest his work should be exposed. Now, do you guys, is this how the word, is this how we spell practicing? P-R-A-C-T-I-S-I-N-G? Is that the Nope, but that's how they have it spelled in the Hallelujah they, Scriptures and the ISR. So they stole it, since they stole that word, practicing, um, I don't believe that is the correct It should word. be a C it, instead it, of an S. So practicing... Yeah, and so when you steal the word of Yah, then you end up stealing the grammatical and spelling errors as well. I almost fixed it, but I didn't feel right. Yeah, we shouldn't. It's not one jot or tittle of the Torah, and the word should be gone until heaven and earth have passed away. But we should uh, at least discuss this, I think. 21. But the one doing the truth comes to the light, 
so that his works are clearly seen, that they have been wrought in Elohim. Okay, Eli, who is that? Who's the one doing the truth? One doing the truth that comes to the light. Uh, if we keep the Torah, we are doing the truth. Yeah, and... We um, come to Yahoshua. Yeah, and so that is... Once we have the Torah, then that is the only way we know what the truth is. Other than that, we, we don't know. We're in a world of lies. 22. After this, Yahushua and his town meeting came into the land of Yehuda, and he remained there with them and was immersing. And Yochanan was also immersing in Ayin near Salem because there was plenty of water there and they were coming and were being immersed. For Yochanan had not yet been put into prison. Okay, there's an interesting thing right there. It says, um, because there was plenty of water there. Um, that can lead us to a couple of things, right? There, they could have been in some weird drought or it could have just been in a time of year where there wasn't much water and they were looking for people to baptize. But again... We don't have things in the Torah telling us to baptize. Right. This is this is new to us um, that we that we know of. And I feel like it might be something they picked up out of Babylon or something. Like they took it out of back out of Babylon or something. And the point of baptism is it's a it's a it is a ceremonial thing, and it is something that you're you're basically washing yourself. You're renewing your your covenant with our Creator, and um, you know the the. the Catholics will take you as a baby and they will just like sprinkle water on you. The Baptists will dunk you whenever you think that you're ready to be dunked. Um, I've been baptized by, you know, <laughs> pagan preachers. And I mean, it, it obviously didn't mean anything being baptized when the hands of people who are not in the Torah are baptizing you. All right, let's continue on. 25. Then a dispute arose among some of Yochanan's Talmudian and the Yehudim about cleansing. And they came to Yochanan and said to him, Rabbi, he who is with you beyond the Yardin, to whom you have witnessed, see, he is a mercy, and all are coming to him. Yochanan answered and said, A man is able to receive not unless it is given to him from the Shamayim. Okay, so that's a, that's a huge thing, right? Our creator gives us everything that we have, right? If we don't have and whatever it is, we don't have. Nicole, are you... Can you go back to 26? 20, yes, ma'am. Does it say he who? Uh, see, he is a mercy. Did I say that um, one? No. Oh, yeah. And they and they came to Yochanan and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Yardin, okay. to whom you have witnessed, see he is immersing and all are coming to him. You missed two, so I want to make sure we didn't miss it. Okay, good. Thank you very Sorry. much. Yeah, so guys, we are we are taking the translations of Yahoo's scriptures and bringing them to what you see at the bottom here, which is a website, um, available to everybody. And so sometimes we get we end up with um, issues, and so we go through this. Okay. Um, 28, you yourselves are witnesses for me that I said, I am not Hamashiach, but I am sent ahead of him. He that has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the voice of the bridegroom. So this joy of mine is complete. It is right for him to increase, but me to decrease. He who comes from above is over all. He who is from the earth is of the earth and speaks of the earth. He who comes from the Shaimaim is over all. Okay, what does that mean, Eli? He who comes from the Shaimaim is over all. Um, yeah, Hoshua, he was from the Shaimaim. He is over everybody. He is ruling. He will be ruling over us. Yep. 32. And what he has seen and heard that he witnesses and no one receives his witness. He who receives his witness has put his seal that Elohim is true. For he whom Elohim has sent speaks the words of Elohim, for Elohim does not give the Ruach by measure. The Father loves the bin and has given all into his hand. He who believes in the bin possesses everlasting Kai, but he who does not obey the bin shall not see Kai, but the wrath of Elohim remains on him. Okay, one last topic I'd like to touch on right quick. On 35, it says the Father loves the Son. This is really crazy. Because if the Trinity was real and the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit were all the same thing, then this verse is wrong, right? It would be the Father loves the Father who says he's the Son, but isn't the Son, but is the Father, but he still loves him all the same, right? This wouldn't be. It says clearly the Father loves the Son. You won't find anywhere in scriptures that says the Father and the Son are the same individuals, right? Messiah Yahushua comes with the same mission as his Father, but it is the will of the father that Messiah Yahushua is completing. And so everything is about the father and that's what we need to be about. We need to wrap our lives around this. We need to wrap ourselves into the Torah. We can't let evil reign. We cannot let evil 
go free in our midst when we have a set of guidelines that tells us how we need to act, how others should act, and what we should do when others don't act that way. And so we need to be strong and we need to be bold in all of this, and we can't let evil reign. Guys, so thank you very, very much for hanging out with us today. We will call this one a day. Happy Preparation Day to everybody out there. Sunset tonight uh, is Shabbat, and I know a lot of you guys do sunrise to sunrise, and I, I, I don't know how to say it other than Genesis 1 says sunset uh, morning and evening were the very first day, and it says it like five. Evening and morning. Or evening and morning are the very first day, and it says it like five or six times in creation, and so... We have to just look at Genesis 1 to figure out what the timing is. But if you guys want to keep it another time, I don't hold it against anyone because I know everybody's on their own path and looking for their own ways. And um, one day we'll have Messiah Yahushua. He can dial this all in for us and tell us how we messed up or what we need to do. And as long as we're working on our obedience, I think that is what is most important of everything. So thank you guys very much. Have a great day. All right. Much love. Shalom. Shalom.